get back to the track. Otto Bolden joining me, Anna Borgioni of Italy in lane one. Imani Lantico of Great Britain, European champion with Great Britain in the 4x1. Kayla White of the United States out of North Carolina A&T. They've had some great sprinters coming out of that school the last couple of years. Aliyah Hobbs of LSU, U.S. champion in 2018. And here is the double Olympic champion from Rio, Elaine Thompson Hurrah. Second fastest time in the world this year, 10.88, but this is her first international appearance. Del Pont will be next to her, was riding a nice win streak up until very recently. She's from Switzerland. Marie-Jose Talou of the Ivory Coast, silver medalist in London at 100 and 200 meters, but has been not near her lifetime best, half second off so far this year. And Anthony Strawn of the Bahamas will be in lane eight. She has ranged from 100 all the way up to 400. And in lane nine, Maria Van Hoonenstein of the Netherlands, the 25-year-old, gets a lane here. And, you know, we have only seen Elaine Thompson hurrah in sort of domestic meets, has run pretty well, comes to Europe. What's her goal at this meet? Well, obviously, to win would be the first thing. But I think she wants to see how her leg is holding up. She has had a history of some Achilles problems. So the Jamaicans were the top two in the world in 2019. They've been the top two in the world in 2020. Elaine Thompson, hurrah. Second fastest, as you said, this year behind Shelley and Fraser Price, just as she was last year. Given what everybody else has been running this year, other than Shelly Ann Fraser Price, unless Thompson Hurrah has not traveled well, I expect her to dominate this field. She is in lane five here in Rome. Solid start for her, as with Kayla White, who now fades as Thompson Hurrah now extends her lead and is going to take the win here in Rome in dominating fashion. And sub-11 she goes, and that, if it holds as the legal time, will be the fastest time in the world this year. Well, she has to be thrilled with that. She surpasses her former training partner, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, with a 10.85 officially now world lead. And that, Paul, will make the trip worthwhile because she's obviously at the end of her season. But when she's starting like this, there she is, fifth from the left. When she's starting like this, she's just about unbeatable. This looks a lot like her win in 2016 at the Olympics. But that Achilles has been hampering her first 30. And sometimes she hasn't been able to recover from really poor starts, particularly when you have the likes of Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, her countrywoman, around her. But this was dominance, as we expected, from the reigning Olympic champion. Since those Olympic Games, though, Paul, remember, didn't medal at the World Championships in 2017, didn't medal at the World Championships in 2019. But if this Elaine Thompson shows up at the Olympics next year, she is going to be a contender and somebody everybody else is going to have to reckon with. Well, she definitely wants to be in that position to defend her Olympic title from Rio, and this breeds some confidence going into the final stages of the season as we are closing in on the final few throws in the men's shot put competition. We'll step aside, but the action continues here in Rome.